poet who moves strangers with his words in just a matter of minutes. His Shauna name? just said, please let Vlad go. <laughs> Stop talking. Let me give Gio Cerro okay. his due. Gio Cerro crafts poems on the spot on any topic that people choose, from love and inspiration to addiction and heartbreak. He pounds out the words on an old-fashioned typewriter and then shares his creation. Like and Wilbur Horkus shows us how the poems are creating deep emotional connections. When you meet Gio Cerro, it's clear his art space is anything but typical. Keystrokes instead of brush strokes, small pieces of paper, the blank canvases he feeds through his vintage typewriter. He calls himself an on-demand poet, pecking at the keys, stopping only when deep in thought, writing for strangers on any topic they choose. Tell me a little bit about humanity. What do you love about humanity? And in just a matter of minutes, he creates a connection. Together, hands clasped together, we move toward a beautiful future. I feel connected to people. When I write a poem for them, I'm digging down deep so I can give you something back. You know, I want to I want to move you. Saro started connecting with others yeah. through the power of his words at a very young age. So I wrote one for my grandfather for his birthday. I remember he cried in that moment. I think it imprinted on me that you could move people with words. But his passion for writing remained only a hobby while his career took him elsewhere, landing his dream job working for Tesla. I realized as the couple months went on, like I didn't really like what I was doing anymore. There was no passion. I began to realize that writing needed to be the thing that I, I did. That leap of faith led to the creation of Geo's typos. With paper and typewriter in hand, he writes just about anywhere, working as a poet for hire at events. Can you write a love letter to my cat? Sure. Connecting with strangers and allowing them to pay what they want for one of his typed poems. Why the typewriter? There's no delete button. And so it lends itself to Geo's typos. Correct. You embrace those imperfections that uh, we usually delete now <laughs> on a computer. You get to see my train of thought. I think that's the cool art part of it, is that you watch me create this poem, but then you also watch me like mess up a little bit, or not mess up, or write something I didn't like and go back and then restart. His poems cover a range of topics. He wrote one for two best friends at this Chamber of Commerce event. When best friends are here, we always are in high spirits. And the social worker looking for the good in humanity. We turn hate into love. And someone simply in need of comforting words. I hope you find everything you want. I promise to wish it on a well. Marsha Briggs turned to Saro on a particularly dark day. It was just today that I realized I had to put my cat down. When I saw Gio there, it was almost like, yes, you can, you can relay my feelings and my emotions. I really cherish the poem. You know, when they cry, I cry. It's really hard because I'm trying to think, like, how does this person feel? Like, what are they going through? Where does that writing come from? <laughs> so I have a joke that I say that, like, um, we're all walking around with our emotional trash bag. And when someone comes and brings me something like that, I like I go in my trash bag and I start searching for all the experiences that I had that maybe I can relate to. One of your poems says, I'm not writing poems as much as I am writing permission slips for people to feel their feelings again. What does that mean? A lot of times we, I think we hold back our feelings. So what I do is I try to bring those emotions right to the forefront. I wanna give people those feelings, whatever it is that they, they want from me, I wanna, I wanna give it back. I like to think that I am tangling much wiser. Emotions pouring out, just like when he puts words to paper. Whatever you wanna do. For CBS Mornings, Manuel Bajorquez, St. Petersburg, Florida. So you know, cool. guys, I hadn't heard that phrase, emotional trash bags, but I think that that's so true. I also find sometimes it's easier to confide in strangers than it is to people close to you when you're going through something sometimes. How interesting people. is it though that it, when you empty out that emotional trash bag for him, he writes you a poem yeah. about the things you're going through. And I love the rawness of it using a typewriter because when you use that, there's imperfections on the paper, mm -hmm. which uh, it, it parallels who we are. There's imperfections in all of us. So you get this, this poem with scratches and marks all over it, yep. but it's perfectly imperfect, just like we all are. And you get to keep it. And you get to keep and it. And you get, you get to, keep to keep it. Nicely done. Nicely done.